I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Um, my name is Dawood. Your name is Jonathan. Jonathan. So Thank yeah, you. so yeah, I've met Jonathan. Love it. Um, it was amazing. I obviously, for those who can see, Jonathan was walking barefooted, what I consider on a very cold day, and I was so intrigued. And I approached you, and I was like, Jonathan, tell me about this. What what is this all about? So maybe a brief summary. Absolutely. It it started off during the late stages of the Scottish lockdown. Um, last winter, yeah, um, we live in an isolated place, uh, 20 miles away from the local clothes shopping town. Yeah, and um, my my jeans split at the knee. Okay. So I ended up wearing shorts, and I've grown up in a house with no central heating, so I don't feel the cold that much. Okay. And a couple of barefoot summers, backpacking okay. in Italy, yeah, and awareness from books that going barefoot lets your toes splay out naturally and lets yeah. your muscles move and your skin harden have always drawn me towards it. Mm. So I just ended up going barefoot during a dry, cold, frosty period from the end of February. Okay. And I would go out in the morning and it would be maybe minus six and I'd feed the birds, break the ice in the bird bath. And I, when I walked back into the house, a cold stone concrete floor in the kitchen would feel warm by comparison. Wow. But wow. my circulation was, was already half used to it. Yeah. And now here we are, uh, late November, and it feels great. Um, a five degree pavement now feels cool, not cold. It has that delicious cool feeling. Wow. Um, the same sensation that people get, I suppose, from a marble floor on a hot day, the classic yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's how you. That's that's your sensation. Yes, Similar. it just feels delightfully cool. Or when you walk along the shallows on the beach with your trousers rolled up. Yeah. That lovely cool feeling. Yeah. And the same with a puddle on a pavement. Yeah. Um, which incidentally doesn't give you wet shoes anymore. Yeah. So you don't get irritated when you step in a puddle. It just feels nice. Yeah. You, so, can, you can even splash. And so you're talking about <laughs> the idea of an ice shoe which connects you to the ground. What's like the idea behind that? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I've discovered by people educating me when they've seen me barefoot, yeah. so um, an unexpected bonus, that our bodies discharge electric flows into the ground, okay. which get blocked when we wear rubber soles or man-made soles. Yeah. And if they get blocked, we get in the, a buildup of static electricity, which damages our health. Okay. So, in order to um, have the strongest immunity yeah. and the strongest circulation and a natural electrical balance in my body, it, it seems to be a great idea to continue with this. It yeah. feels wonderful. Yeah. The only days which are a challenge are cold, damp ones. Okay. Now, I would rather have minus two and dry okay. than plus three and wet. Okay. Plus three and wet is it's, difficult. It's, you, feel, yeah. you feel cold, it hurts. Yeah. But I'm, I'm getting used yeah. even to that. Yeah. And um, the idea of um, waves going in and out of our body is very much consistent with the causal universe where every process is linked to every other post process okay and okay it's okay. a web of chain reactions interesting 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 and like philosophically you were talking about uh it's also a form of resistance although you adhered it's off-grid so very extreme but it's a form of a resistance um against a overarching government that you believe or not government but just believes in society absolutely government is, government okay. yes okay. Um, and pharmaceutical companies if yeah. if authority makes health dependent on buying its products yeah which actually damage health and themselves create more dependency on more products then we become addicts okay and we become enslaved and we can be controlled yeah. and any any authority source that behaves like that is being abusive and so neither it nor its products can be trusted yeah 
Yeah. Whereas if we connect with God's universe, yeah. harmonize with the bits which genuinely tune to us, Interesting. then no one can hold us hostage. Yeah. We don't invite evil into our body. We don't invite discordant waves in to jam our waves. Can you explain <laughs> that again? Because you were saying this was something very interesting, talking about uh, uh, that this also Absolutely. helps you to fend off evil. Com completely. What's your definition of evil and then explain how it, that, how you, it fends off evil? A hundred percent. On my way to that, I'll just talk about the fascinating growing idea yeah. of ascension to God yeah. being comparable with our waves going up in frequency. Yes. Yeah. Talk about that. If you have a, if you have a line, then it's the harmonic. It's the straight line. Yeah. But if you pass a vibration through it, then you have a low frequency. You have yeah. a single wave yeah. along the string from one end to the other. Sure. You still have a line, but it's a wavy line now. Yeah. If you raise the frequency so it the vibrates like a guitar string, yeah. then suddenly the line has blurred into a plane. So a one-dimensional structure yeah. has gone up in frequency and become a two-dimensional structure. Sure. If you then move or thug, you shift the vibration by 90 degrees and you crystallize the plane, so to speak, you crystallize the blur, which was created by the vibrating string, and you now vibrate it back and at forth 90 almost. degrees yeah. to the original vibration, yeah. you have a plane yeah. vibrating at right angles okay. to itself, yes. which extrudes it, which creates a cuboid, mm. which is three-dimensional. Yeah. So vibrational level frequency is proportional to level of dimension in which we are conscious. It's very interesting. It's very, it's very, it's very, very interesting, because, and it's, I'm a Muslim, by the way. I don't know if you've gathered that, but in Islam, there's this concept of taqwa, uh, and which means uh, the awareness of the divine, and you have to sort of invite yourself. Uh, you invite your, you invite the divine by abiding by certain uh, given uh, structures yeah. in the universe. And the idea is, because we're talking about evil, the less evil you participate in, the higher your level of awareness goes. That's why I was so interested in what you were saying, and you will get to this in a minute. But I just wanted to add That's to fascinating. That. The, yeah. the less evil, yes. Yeah. Yes, because in, to participate in evil, you have to delude yourself. I thought Pierce was coming to speak um, here. I hope he should yeah. be soon. He should be soon. Yeah. Uh, stand by. I'll be there in a second. Yeah. Oh, has oh, he? Oh my God! Okay. I'll, be, I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll yeah, finish. Yeah. Thanks. Um, in order to participate in evil, yeah. you have to invite evil into your body. Okay. Qu quantum mechanically, it cannot get in unless you tune to it. So, what is evil? Just quickly. Is it hard to explain? Evil yeah. is a low vibration. Okay. Evil is self-hate. It is the consciousness that arises from self-hate, okay. from being excited by being abused, by... Or ab abusing. Well, that follows. Okay. Um, okay. If you, if you worship an evil, powerful being, yeah. a, a being which has cut itself off from God, yeah. that being cannot access God's energy. Okay. So it becomes a vampire. It needs to steal energy from its peers because it's unplugged itself from God. Wow. It's, this is deep stuff. So it yeah. pulls, it is a bloodsucker, metaphorically or sometimes literally. <coughs> yeah. It pulls your energy yeah. in, it steals your energy yeah. if you invite it. When will you invite it? Yeah. You will invite it if that being which is disconnected from God yeah. turns you on. Yeah. Because you're aroused by it. Yeah. And why would it turn you on? Because you hate yourself. Yeah, wow. Very powerful. One thing to add these things, I know you have to leave, but I have to really say this. Go for it. So there's a hadith by the Prophet Muhammad, and he says, 
don't be angry or don't be angry for the devil travels in your blood veins. So when you're angry, you're basically, your, your, the ability to just let loose is higher because evil, and I do not know how to take it, whether it's metaphysical or actual, but I accept the, the hadith as it is, that he travels through the vein of man. So I find it's very interesting that, you, that, that you're saying all these things. So there must be something where we meet and where you're discovering these things just by living your experience and i really jonathan right jonathan jonathan i really really appreciate it. i know you have to leave right it's now it's been an absolute pleasure but we will have this conversation again and, and uh, i've got a i've got a blog i can give out if your viewers might be interested sure in sure sure truthexcites.com okay do freedom you, freedom and philosophy yeah do you have a quran um, I do actually have one at home that someone gave me. You do? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I would have offered you the Quran but otherwise. It's great thank you very much. God sir. bless you. Thank you, thanks. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Jonathan unfortunately had to leave. And uh, the things that he talked about um, when I met him, he was barefooted. I don't know if you got some footage of him being barefooted. Let me tell you something, it's extremely, extremely, extremely cold and the man was just there with his shorts. And I was obviously intrigued by it and uh, he seems to be a uh, a very uh, thoughtful person and uh, I think the lesson that we can take from here is really that subhanallah Islam really does encompasses everything there are certain ideas and philosophies and things out there uh, that uh, I would even argue that some of it is um, you will find contrary to Islam but the vastness of Islam itself is so vast that encompasses everything. Wallahi, it encompasses everything. And you can see these patterns. When you talk to someone, you start to realize patterns in, in certain ideas and beliefs that certain people have. Um, and I feel like this conversation with Jonathan really, really demonstrated that. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and see you next time.